Welcome back to another episode of EnviroBoy Plays Resident Evil 2. Where, uh, we, we left off the last one. Uh, we're in the middle of a room, and I didn't have a save spot, so I'm hoping that we're not gonna, like, open up, uh, with, uh, with me, like, dying or something because I didn't save. I, I don't know, like, it, it's, it feels way smarter to, to like, finish an episode with a save rather than anything else, but lack of a last, here we are. I did what I did because there's timing. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be good about keeping these. Oops, hi there. Um. No, get out your thing. Why do you not have your thing out? Why didn't you pull out the... I'm confused. Why are you not pulling out your... your... Yeah. Thank you. Good lord. Getting her to pull that out was way more work than it should have been. Okay, are you like actually dead or are you just like playing dead here? Okay, good lord. Good lord. See, what did I say? What did I say? I was about to die. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, Phyllis. I knew it. Okay. I think they're coming after me. Those things aren't really the play dead types. Good lord, that did startle me, but I'm gonna be honest, what scared me more was the fact that we weren't pulling out our, our, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, our submachine gun, our Uzi, which I maintain is one of the most, like, period pieces that they could have put in this game as, like, an early 2000s game. Kids loved Uzis back at that time. Like, nowadays it's, like, shotguns or something, I don't know. Hey, you. You're not nearly as intimidating as the plant guys or the brain guys. Just to be safe. Cool. It's so funny how like a more dangerous enemy really can have the, the major impact of reducing the uh, intimidation factor of some of these other creatures. Like, it's really funny. Like, those guys, not even, like, no matter how persistent they are. You know, like that. Like, okay, yeah, startled me a little bit. But in terms of handling him as a creature, really not a big deal. How did he go flying down, though? Did he... Someone, did you, did, was he pushed? He didn't come through the ceiling. Wow, that guy's got a bit of a scream going on. Hi there. Asshole. Yeah, that's right. You tell him, Claire. At this game, I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'm actually really liking this game. It's the the the, the lines, the voice acting are so like late '90s, early 2000s action flick stereotype, and I I just I I'm gonna be honest. I love it. Um, I'm gonna make some ammo. We we're running low for both that. And, you know what, we might as well. Let's go ahead and combine those up and make that ammo there. Because we are starting to get a little low. Um, we can... Yeah, we're, we're getting low on that. Something's getting low, big guy. Somebody's known. Everyone's turned. Vegified. They keep coming back again and again. Burn them all. Burn them until their whole body is black as ash. There's no other way. Okay, yeah, so they are going to keep coming back. Um, we're going to have to kill them. Oh, signal modulator? With those, oh, sweet. Okay, that's we're going to need that. That's going to be a fun tool. This looks like it's going to be kind of a fun puzzle tool type thing, too. Oh, that's cool. I'm into that. I'm into that. It's like a mini game type of thing. I'm, I'm into it. Oh, sweet. Cool. Right after I uh, made a whole bunch of ammo. Fun. <laughs> Friend. Give me a hug. Please. Us zombies are misunderstood. We only want to be loved. No one hugs a zombie. Okay. Oh. Um. Oh, we've got a fast track. Back to... Um... Okay, I see where we are now. Sweet. Oh, that's actually very timely, too. 
Because now we can manage our our cropola here. Get a good save. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love it. Store that. Store that. Um, I'm going to store this just so we can keep space out and we only really need one at a time. We'll store those. Maybe I should actually pull those out so I can burn up those those goobers lying on the ground. That actually wouldn't be the worst idea. Um, let's store that. Let's uh, those right there. Yeah, you know, I actually kind of like that idea. I'm going to pull this out. Take that out and then I want to do it with flame rounds. Do that and then okay hold on right. this swap to the flame rounds because then i'm going to just put the acid round away i don't want that out right now um not that it's not useful but it seems as though the flame rounds are going to be what we want i don't know that we need this still uh since i've written down the one the 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 combination on it i think that's what we need i don't anymore we'll keep the knife that was actually really handy um and i think it's good practice let's put this right there i'm just going to reorganize these things in a more pleasing manner do that oh wait hold on i want the knife put key item right there there we go cool and that gives us five slots not quite as many as i'd like but it'll do and then let's absolutely save because we survived a few harrowing situations um Radical. Okay. Sorry, I started thinking about 90s stuff. And I immediately... I am having so much fun these days. Something about this year. I don't know if it's really like this year in particular. Like that it's happened or I've just noticed it this year. But, um... Oh, sorry. That was my cat. And she... Good lord. She startled me there too. So I, for a hot second, I thought that noise was in the game. And I was like, what kind of meowing chirp am I hearing? No, it's just my cat. Just my cat. Um... But at any rate, um, yeah, oh, what was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, I don't know if it's only just now happening this year or I'm only just now noticing it this year. But I feel like nostalgia for the 90s is really kind of reaching peak ripeness these days. You know, for a while, everyone was really into the 80s. But the nostalgia train is kind of rolling along the tracks to the point that we're kind of in like peak yeah 90s was cool too and that was like that was my childhood era have it you know at being being solidly millennial born in 91 you know like oh okay we need to do the power modulator on the thing over here i'm guessing for that um but yeah being born in the being born in 91 so like my childhood really my childhood was like of, of what I remember and enjoy and, and appreciate about my childhood. Um, my era was like starting in 95 and going until about 2010. That's when I graduated high school. Like that's like peak childhood era for me. Um, and I love that we are getting to a point. What, wait, hold on. What? Do I need to, oh, do I need to do something with it first? Oh. Well, okay, so that's OSS. Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay, so we got Murph set up, and I think that's the one that we need for this, right? Yeah, it's because it's got Murph on there. Okay, so we can go ahead now. We put it in. Got it. I thought it was. I, I thought I was gonna put it in, and then I would have to match it up with the the Murph. But no. Okay, we got there. Okay, are there going to be, like, big, like, explosions of enemies? Because they're not like, oh, <gasps> the lights attack! Doesn't seem like it. I know, kitty. Look, a kitty. No, oh, are you being a snuggly little kitty? <laughs> Cats are the best. Just in case anyone was wondering or unaware. Cats are the best. I know, everyone loves dogs. And don't get me wrong, I love me, I love me some good, good puppers, too. But... I'm I'm a cat guy. I'm a crazy cat lady. Personally, I love my cat. I think cats are hilarious. I know, I do love you. Don't go kitty. I think my my take on it has always been people who say they don't like cats are people who aren't 
like properly watching cats because cats are hilarious and they have at least as much personality as dogs. Um, or at least that's what I maintain. And it's fine to have preferences, but I maintain that cats are amazing. Oh, cool. oh good. Um, all right, we'll check the, the inbox. But yeah, just I'll finish the thought before I start reading off emails. Cats are amazing. They're wonderful, hilarious creatures. They're like the best, the best way I can describe cats is if anyone's seen Disney's Robin Hood, you know, the one where it's like the fox, you know, is Robin Hood and like the Prince John is the lion. Cats are Prince John, where they think they're large and in charge, but it's their second in commands that are the ones that actually keep things running while they just kind of bumble around acting like they're the, the kings and queens. And it's hilarious. And I love them. Isn't that right, Leela? My sweet kitty. She thinks she's in charge, but, like, you know, she also gets her head stuck in bags sometimes. So it's like, you know, who's really holding it together here? Anyway, Wayne Lee's inbox. Under Rick Mendoza. What's he up to? I can leave that bastard cart right. I apologize for the language. Wow, wow, he's really getting the language going. Cool your jets, asshole. Well, I guess he is the boss. For now. Anyway, have you seen my helix anywhere? Put the secret on the bottom. Let me know if you find it. Byron Cartwright, busy guy, huh? So you couldn't make our little meeting? Fine, don't worry about the greenhouse inspection. Instead, I'll give you something real simple to do. Put together the budget estimate for the, ne the year after next, and get it done tonight. Mendoza, are you alive? We're under attack. People are dead. The east area is cut off. We can't operate the bridge with the wristbands we have here. Where is that bastard Cartwright hiding? Mendoza, please reply. Plan 43 is going wild. The greenhouse is hell. We need to send someone there before it's too late. Wayne, how do we stop this thing? You have to help us. Please reply. Mendoza, no subject. Remember Susie, the cheerleader? What a great gal. We're both into her. Of course, she wasn't into nerds. We'll have to give you back those comics and games I borrowed. We might have to wait a while. Oh, that's kind of sad. Oh, no. All right, well. I know what it is. Um, what else is there to look for and gain in here? Oh man, am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? Hold on, where am I on the map? There's something in this area, huh? Well, we're gonna have to walk back through. Okay, am I gonna die? Damn. Gonna take off your leather jacket. That would be handy. Oh, this guy's totally gonna stand up. Making sure. I do not trust that he's not going to stand up. I have no faith in that. What am I looking for in here? I mean, there's got to be something. Oh, here we go. What's this? What's this? Oh, can we put... Error. Oh, 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 the instructions. Hold on. Um, the instructions. Reside synthesis. Cool immediately. Okay, place an empty cartridge in the solution dispenser. Add the required amount of um 21. Cool immediately. So we need to go back up to the other room, add the um 21, and then move as quickly as we can down here. I bet you it's going to be like in the first one where there's that, like, th there's a time limit and we got to move quickly since it says cool immediately. I bet you anything that's what's going to be. The situation. Okay. All right. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Big brain in it up. I've got like a Jimmy Neutron brain blast situation going on here. That'll work. We can do that. I'm just going to check and make sure there's not anything else to find around here. I don't know if the red is just because there's something else for us to do in this room or be like we still have to use the one thing or if there's actually things to find. I'm just going to double, triple, quadruple check all of the shelves that we got it all. It looks like we got it all. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. Okay. Cool. Open up there. I don't think there's anything else to grab. I don't think I missed anything, but I'm going to double check because it's still red and I don't really appreciate that it's still red. I feel like it'd be handy if they did something like if it's yellow, there's still a task to do. If it's red, there's still an item to find. And if it's orange, it's both of those. 
you know, like that might be a little bit clearer, but well, you know, I didn't design the game, so I don't get to make those decisions. I just have to deal with the decisions that were made for it. A lack and a lass. We doing? Oh, we're doing great on time. We, we, we Gucci. We good on time. Um. Let's see here. Okay. Gotta check something real quick. We're good. Okay, server room. Just got servered. Don't really need it, but we might as well collect it. We don't want to leave a room red if we can help it. Right. Um. Gunpowder. Like acid rounds if we need it. Oh, oh, we got a save room here. Oh, geez, I walked right past this too. Good lord. Wait, is there a save? I guess I don't know that there's a save in this room. Um, I mean, usually if there's storage, there's also a save. But that's cool. Yep, there it is, save room. <laughs> Just walked right by it thinking like, oh, I haven't had a save room in a while. It was here. It was here the whole time. How many people have memorized this game and saw me do that? I'm like, you idiot. Truthfully, that's what we watch Let's Plays for, though. Or at least it's what I watch them for. I do, I, I do actually watch Let's Plays and all that. Um, and uh, um, uh, and it, 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 I, I like watching other people struggle with games as much as I like watching them succeed. I know some people get impatient and frustrated when. A player is like struggling with a game. Okay, we're going back up into that greenhouse. So I'm gonna get this thing ready so we can burn up those plant guys. Um, but I want to take them. I want to take care of them so I don't have to deal with them anymore. But yeah, I know a lot of people will watch let's plays and they'll get frustrated when you know the person playing the let's play is struggling. Um, cause they, cause you know they want to see you succeed. They want to see you make good progress. Um, so I get it, but for me, I've always been a bigger fan of watching like an actual organic process of them learning how to play the game, which includes the struggles and stuff. Like when I watched, like I was watching, so like, you know, I just finished Tears of the Kingdom, um, but I was watching uh, over the weekend, I was hanging out with my girlfriend. And I was watching her. She's playing Breath of the Wild. She is. She's never been as much of a gamer, so she's kind of um, behind in that she still needs to. Uh, oh, it's it's not that room. It's the next one down. Um, so she still needs to beat Breath of the Wild. So she's playing that. And she was fighting one of the one of the Blight Ganons, um, and she was struggling with it. And I could tell she was getting frustrated. So I was like helping her, offering tips because I'm a lot more experienced with those games, and I was able to kind of give her some ideas on what to do. Um, as she was struggling with it, but but I was having fun watching her learn because like even even when she was getting frustrated, oh shoot, no, I did need to go back up there and use that. Oh my gosh, so many steps. I gotta go first. I gotta go in the password. And then I gotta go back and open the thing up, and then I gotta put the stuff in there. I gotta run back down to the basement. Oh my god. But it was fun for me watching her. Like she didn't feel like she was doing better because she was like struggling because like all the different blights will have would have different um. Uh, different stages and stuff but I was having so much fun watching her learn and improve with each uh, with each attempt at the boss like I have so much fun watching that I think it's really cool watching someone get better at something watch someone get excited about getting better about things you know and I offered help uh, where 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 I could both in terms of advice and like demonstrating things uh, for her but just in general, I, I think it's an underappreciated joy watching someone else first struggle but then succeed. Um, and I think it's too bad that not everyone gets excited just about that. To match cartridge capacity. Okay. Is the cartridge capacity that red dot? What is this? Oh, I see. Okay, so what if we did... That. That won't do it. That. Did that, and then...
Wait, hold on. Go like that. 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 That's gonna be too much. Hold on. Hold on. Give me I need my I need to give my brain some space to figure this out. What if we go like this? Wait no, hold on. Go like that. Wait, hold on. Idea, idea. Like that. That. Oh wait, like that. That. And what if we did this? Does that get us up where we need to be? Yeah, there we go. What I'm talking about, baby. Okay, so now we're gonna have to be ready to take this down to the cool station, which is I, why I'm glad I killed those guys, because if there's gonna be a timer, because it says cool immediately. So I'm gonna go down, try and be quick about this. Oops, oops, go. Try and be quick about this. I think we gotta cool it. Don't give me that. Quickly go down here. For that cool room with the cartridge in there to cool it down and then I think we should be able to bring it back into the sprayer situation and be good to go hope I have that right because if I don't then I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing I'll be perfectly honest with you here <laughs> excuse me pardon me just gonna slip right on by you there cold room how much you want to bet he's going to get back up once we cool it? <clears throat> that in there. Okay. Wasn't any timer involved there. I wonder if that's a... Um, Assisted mode thing too since I'm playing it on easy because I'm a crybaby who doesn't want it to be too difficult here All this all this big talk about Um, there we go perfect all this big talk about the fun part is watching people struggle and then I choose the Difficulty setting that will allow me to do the least amount of struggling And also make it the most embarrassing when I do inevitably struggle Um, do we have yeah, and see now it turned uh Now it turned blue so we know we got everything Cool. Cool. Great. Fun. Cool. Did I see? Wait, hold on. Server room. Oh, because there's some more fire bullets there. I might as well go grab those. We can save, too. Having made that bit of progress there, especially with the back and forth nature of that, we can go ahead and save. I think that'd be a, a good idea. So, let's grab these. Find those. Yes, please. Plenty of those. I'm going to just keep that handy. I'm not super stoked about how much space that ends up taking up, keeping that in my inventory, but if we're going to have plant guys that are best handled by burning them up with those fire rounds, I think maybe it's going to be best to just keep those on hand and ready to go. So let's go ahead and back up here. Necessarily the only way to go up here. I'm gonna just in case. I don't know. There was it was giving me like creepy noise, creepy music vibes. We're running by here beforehand. But yeah, see, it's giving us the creepy vibes. So I don't know that I trust that there's not gonna be stuff happening here. But we're just gonna keep that ready to go. Hey, kitty, How you doing, sweetheart? You wanna drive by? Okay. That, I think that should be good to go. I think I did it right. Dispensing solution now. Oh, it's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. Oh man, that guy's totally going to stand up. I don't have to deal with him. So much for the weed infestation. All right. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Just you. 
<laughs> They're gonna discipline me. I want to make sure. That up. Uh, combine it with there. Absolutely. Sweet. What's your deal, friend? I don't know that I'm comfortable with the fact that there's a guy who doesn't have any zombie effects just laying there. It seems like there's something more about that. Something more going on there. Oh, are you back alive? Come on, man. Don't give me that. Alright, well. We know how to deal with you. Here you go, friend. I'm kind of annoyed that actually the herbicide doesn't seem to have killed them off appropriately. I'm gonna be honest, that seems a little rude. But that's okay. Okay, hold on a second. So, I'm seeing now it said until they're charred black, and I can see that those guys, so yeah, he's now like charred black. Um, don't claw the chair. Don't claw the chair. Sorry, my cat was getting a little excited. Started clawing the chair up. She knows she's not supposed to do that. Okay, so now it looks like they're taken care of. Okay. Oh boy, so many rules involved with all this crap. Okay, um, we got the upgraded. Is there anything else for us to? I think everything's blue. I'm blue. Daba diba to die. Okay. Yeah, let's head back to the lobby then. Um. Oh, and with the three, we can probably check and see what's going on with the uh, presentation room stuff too. So let's go ahead and head back up there and do that. Um, excuse you. Are you... There he goes. Okay, yeah, he's all burned up. Alright, he's, he's burned up. We took care of him. Hi, kitty. I mean, I'm not super stoked that I'm using up all of my ammo here, but at the same time, I don't really know what else it's for other than these guys, you know what I mean? Seems like I might as well just go ahead and do it. Might be kind of a waste if I don't have to come back here. Um, but the other thing about it too is, especially here on the assisted mode, this game doesn't really seem to be super concerned about leaving me without uh, all of the resources I'll be wanting or needing at any point, you know? So, I think it's fair to use those. Byron Cartwright's inbox. Senator William Birkin, high priority, increased security. When did Nest become a nest for spies? Three last month and another four this month. And those are just the ones we caught. Step up security, Cartwright, if you want to end up like your predecessor. Also, I'll be restricting access to the west area from today. Ignore all requests from headquarters for information on G. Those suits contribute nothing to this project anyway. Sender, no reply, auto-generated mail. Warning, unauthorized access detected. Herbicide dispersal by unauthorized employee detected in the east area. 451 by Wayne Lee. Ha! That was actually me. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. I'm a little annoyed that the herbicide didn't kill all of the, the, plant, the plant dudes, but... It's fine. It's whatever, I guess. I guess it's cool or whatever. That's how you want to be, I guess. Like, psh, k, pf, whatever. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> I'm actually going to store this. Because now that we're leaving the plant area, I'm actually suspicious that we might be good to go on the plant stuff. Um, organize. 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 Oh, there. How are we doing? We're good on bullets. Um, let's replenish, I guess. Or that. Do we have? Do we have any Ootsie? Yeah, we do have some Ootsie bullets. That. Wait, hold on. I want to see something. Where are the keys? Yeah, with the trophy, we are done with the trophy. That's what I thought. I <laughs> love it. Okay, cool. That's good. And then let's go ahead and save it up. Save it, save it, save it up. 
Uh, how are we doing on time? We're, we're like kind of right there, but I'm going to try and get us to... So we just got um, something that I'm assuming will take us to the west area. Um, oh, we can go do the nap room too. Whatever else is going on in the nap room. Might be worth checking out. Do we have... That all just... That's just the plant area. Just the nap room. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Special treat just a little bit longer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go see what's up with the nap room. And if that turns into like a longer section than I'm expecting it to be, then uh, yay, we get an extra long episode today. But I want to go check that out just... Um, because then we can hopefully tidy up next episode, come back here, and I'm I'm starting to think that maybe this section will be shorter than a lot of the other areas. So I'm wondering if we can go to the west area, like next episode, go to that west area, get ourselves uh, our final bit to go into that basement, and then like I don't know, like I'll have to. This is the hard part about me not knowing games, and like in this situation, I'm not playing. Like, I'm not playing with a guide, really. I'm just using the um, the red and blue stuff as my guide, you know, on the map for if there's more to do in an area. So I don't know if there's a whole lot. Like, I don't know exactly when the end is going to be. Um, but we might just try and do some longer episodes or a longer episode. Um, depending on you know, where we're at with stuff. Um, want the move? Yeah. Um. um. Oh my gosh, it's kind of tricky trying to figure this stuff out here. Um, oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay, I that's okay. Go Pete's man. Yeah, it's kind of hard to. Oops, shoot! I did the thing. Oh, I see. That's what I. Hard to know exactly what's going on with all of these. There we go. Got it. Okay. Yeah, trying to figure out exactly how it moves them because it, like, I, I I try to look at the peaks, but each knob turns it diagonally rather than like up or down. Trying to figure it out is difficult, but I suppose it's kind of the point of a puzzle. It's supposed to be difficult, isn't it? Um. So. So yeah, let's go ahead and put this in here. Let's see what this gets us. Ding. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Alright, got that hip pouch there. Are you... you bastard. Yeah, I didn't think I could trust that you'd be dead. It's like, I want my wristband back. This is mine, give it to me. Oh, what do we got? Wayne Lee's notes, oh no. Dear God, blood everywhere. What the hell's happening? They're dead. All dead, it was those men in black. USS Headquarters Special Forces. Why? Isn't their job to protect us? White brains and sea of red. Can't be happening. Dear God, why? Didn't everybody say I was a genius? A genius like me can't die in a place like this. I always got results. They're screwing me. Well, maybe I'll screw them. I'll win the Nobel. I'm a hero, a genius, a god. I will not die. I will. Blech. Ah, buddy. Ah, buddy. Well. See ya. Alright, I'm gonna get back to that lobby area. We're gonna save. And then the next episode, we'll proceed forward. I don't know. Yeah, like, I don't know how close I am to finishing. I don't know if it'll be worth it next episode to just make it a long one and finish up. I don't I don't really know what to expect. Because I, what I don't want to do is end up with uh, an episode that's just, like, really short because it's just, like, one final boss fight and then that was it. You know what I mean? I don't want to do that. Um. So, but we'll we'll figure that out. Maybe I'll just, like do a quick look and try to avoid any spoilers and just know how much game is left. Like, look at a table of contents for a guide or something. Try to judge based on how far I've been getting on things. Need this? Wristband. Oh, well. 
they know of the deal with the ID wristband. So, okay, that's, um, we're gonna, so yeah, we'll call it an episode there. Uh, and next time we'll pick it up. Next time might be the last one. I don't know. We'll see. We're just gonna play that one by ear. Um, but at least for this one, uh, as always, thank you so much for joining me. Appreciate and love all of, all of you. Um, go, um, Go try to not be too big for your britches. Like, keeping a journal is good, but maybe don't make big, giant proclamations about how you're a god and you're going to show everyone, you know, because, like, you know, everyone dying is them screwing you over. Like, maybe try to keep yourself a little bit more humble than that. That'd be a good thing, because then your last actions won't be, you know, trying to eat someone's brains and then have them laugh at you when they read your diary. It's just, no one wants that. That's not a good way to go. You know what I mean? So there's there's your there's my wish to you, um, and I'll go 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 do it that way. Anyway, have have a good day. Bye.